by now my name is Trini lovely and today we're going to be talking about business and in this video I'm gonna tell you um, the steps that I took and the steps that I'm taking so I'm gonna speed forward from getting all the licenses um, and I'll go back uh, later on in another video and just tell you how to go about it so just keep in mind I am from New York State um, I'm from the city I'm from New York City and um you know everybody's state may have totally different ways how to get licensed um and basically um different procedures like for instance i did an llc but at the same time i did an llc i had to get also publish run a public publication for like six weeks and um my cousin who's actually starting her own business um, in Atlanta, she didn't have to get published. So keep in mind that everything may vary, right? From depending on what state you're in. But I'm not gonna go through that today and I'm gonna actually talk overall about brand recognition and branding your business and how to actually get off from that starting point. And as you are aware, and if you're not aware, in my previous videos, I speak about, literally, I'm creating my website, um, being host by SiteGround right now. And I actually like SiteGround because, like, I had an issue um, sometime last week when I was creating, and literally, I had did a plugin, and um, it literally took my whole website down. I was like so scared <laughs> I was like so scared I'm like what the hell happened so you know sometimes you're gonna have that ups and downs especially if you're doing um, you're doing an e-commerce where you're actually building the website and you know if you're doing it from scratch and you didn't pay anyone to do it you're gonna have your ups and downs but keep in mind you can always contact the um, where you're getting that where you're being hosted from um, and I contact the site ground they told me don't worry they have a backup so they keep a backup for you so you're you know if it do go down they could always get you back up so keep that in mind right so let's get into this whole branding thing so um, if you're actually at the very start start I'm actually at the start start I am still creating this website I have not completed it as yet so when you're at the start you have to come up with in, innovative ways to actually get your business out there. Like you want to, you don't want to wait until the website is up and now start promoting this, this website. Um, I feel like it's better when you're now creating to kind of get that brand recognition. And I have been using Instagram and I have been using Facebook um, to kind of brand this business and I wanted people to know that this business is coming soon I wanted people to know that this business is in existence and right and I have been and never be scared to say the business the online store is under construction I, I put that out there all the time the online store is under construction there's different platforms that you can use you can um when you're creating your business keep in mind you could always use Facebook in a way where you can actually start picking up some sales and I have been trying to create the Facebook um, I haven't gotten to the Instagram yet um, but I have been trying to create the Facebook and trying to design the Facebook shop so this is a way that you can pick up some sales instead of just kind of relying on the the flow of your you know your store that you're creating because if you're doing that you're not going to get a return on an investment right away and you know when you're spending all this money on products you want to get that return on investment you want to flip money and never be you know scared to actually you know let people know that you have this business and where your where your items this is one of my items right now this is a cardigan um you want to this is also one of my items this is the um the sunglasses so you always want to um you always want to brand your your business you always want to wear the stuff as 
a way to market your item. I tell my husband all the time, where are you going? Make sure you wear that sunglasses, okay? Where are you going? Make sure you wear that t-shirt. And this is how we actually picked up sales um, just by word of mouth. Like him walking the street and people seeing his t-shirt and like, hey man, that's a nice t-shirt. And we actually got sales that way. Um, we also got sales way, uh, another way of far as going around his friends and people seeing the items that we were selling and really like the items and we even got like one of like an up and coming rapper um saw one of the, the products and was like hey i want to use it in my music video so it's always ways to put yourself out there. and you got to keep in mind these are all strategic ways of marketing your business you don't want to wait until the store actually really exists because you want to when when you launch you want to say you know you want to start promoting when you start launching right you want to say okay um i literally launch um sale and you want people to actually run to this website so the more you promote the more you start promoting from now this website is on its way coming this actually puts you in a way of people like okay this is a store coming who who is Panel star a list who is this company right so people kind of get the idea that there's this store with all these hot commodities right these hot clothes and you kind of get people to kind of know that you exist so keep in mind that when you're starting off from creating your website you don't want to wait until the website actually the, the website is actually built you want to start branding from now I made um, an Instagram page for um, Paniel Star, and I literally, uh, when I created that website, um, that Instagram page, I I saw a lot of a lot of stores um, have like a shop, and I haven't got around to that. And I said to myself, at some point, I'm gonna get to that, but branding and building that page where you actually have numerous around of followers will actually help you market that company and i even go back to my original page and i go back to the um the page of the website so i'm utilizing both right then on my facebook i actually did um i'm now in the process of creating the shop but I did create a business page on Facebook. So these are the things that I'm trying to do to get that marketing, right? So you never, and, and, and don't be afraid to even if, when you're starting very early on, you wanna, even if you have a YouTube channel, you wanna actually create another platform of a YouTube channel to actually separate the brand. Cause I'm Trini Lovely on YouTube, but then also I'm Paniel Star also on YouTube. So these are other ways that you can actually try your best to try all the innovative ways to utilize the social medias to market. I did try Pinterest. I'm a little I'm a little like thrown off with Pinterest. I really don't know how to utilize Pinterest and I gotta look into that. But um Pinterest, um you could even do um, TikTok. I have seen stylists on TikTok. I have seen a lot of makeup artists, artists as well on TikTok doing different videos and you're really getting to see the creativity of the way how they actually style their clothes, the creativity of how they wear the makeup so keep in mind everything that you do you can utilize all these platforms as marketing because it only benefits you right so if you're just like me where you're using your paycheck to start your business and you don't have that grant behind you or you don't have that loan behind you you have to understand as well like this is the time you can really do it because online has become such a force to be reckoned with right you know people go to school online people shop online people do a lot of things online right 
So now that it has that force, that it has that 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 opportunity for you to create your own business without even having that storefront, that brick and mortar. Like you don't have to have a storefront. You can run your business from inside your home, inside your house. So keep in mind, if you're gonna be running your business from inside of your house, right? Then you have to find a way for people to know that you are in existence, right? People have to know that this website exists on the on the web right so the only way you can make this this store or whatever your business you're trying to create on the web know that it exists you have to do marketing right and if you don't have this excessive money behind you you may not be able to spend a hundred thousand dollars in marketing right for the year you may not be able to actually spend all this right so if you wanted to find a way if you wanted to do it yourself right right, where they call it do-it-yourself videos, right, you wanted to do it yourself, these are the ways, these are the steps to do it yourself, utilize your Instagram, utilize your Pinterest, utilize your Facebook, utilize your TikTok videos, right, and this is a way, even your YouTube channel, this is a way that you put your business out there without paying for that marketing, now keep in mind, it may be a slow start right but if you build genuine fan base and you build a generosity between you and your subbies you and your followers you and your Facebook friends right you can actually have genuine people who's really backing you who really is with you from the start and they feel like they get to know you because you're sitting on this platform and you're actually interacting with them on YouTube, right? You're sitting on this platform and you're interacting with them on Instagram, on Facebook. So these are the ways that you want to actually go about building yourself and using that brand recognition, using your social media. Social media is a very clever way to actually get your business out there. So if you're using different strategic methods to get your business out there social media is the one that you want to utilize right and you want to be open for all ideas word of mouth is actually going to put money back into your pocket don't wait until you launch to do all that because by the time you launch you want people to know that you're up you're running and it's time for you to purchase right don't only focus on, I'm going to also just only want my family to buy at first and they're going to do that support. I'm going to be honest with you, family don't really support like that. They really don't. Um, very early on, I was begging everyone to actually watch my YouTube channel, right? And literally, some people didn't even subscribe to me, even though I was asking them, I was like, you know what, could you subscribe to my um my YouTube channel and I literally had to do it myself I had to go out there hustle and bustle make my videos and build a, a, a relationship with the with my subs with you know interacting with them when they reach out and comment below or they email me I had to literally build that from scratch and it was not the followers was not the family the family was not the one watching the videos it was literally the genuine support that I have from my subs right now who are engaging in my videos when I drop it and these are the people who I said to myself okay this is exactly what I have to do when I'm doing my business I need to have support the support team has to come from the people that you're engaging in and it's just like when you see like a celebrity or you see like an artist a musician or all these people you're we make them right we make them because we love them we make them because we are inspired by them we make them because we are the one who is buying their albums right so it's the same thing when you when you're creating your own business you have to keep in mind i can only be made by the people who's supporting me if they support me if they if they like what i'm putting out if they see um something in my clothes or whatever I'm selling and they see something that 
they actually excited about. These are my supporters. These are the people who are going to follow me. And these are the people who want to going to support me. They're going to be the ones to cheer me on. So don't get too caught up on getting your family to purchase items only. Because you don't really want just family support. Right? You want to become an entrepreneur, a business person. And, and the goal and the end goal is... You want to be able to walk away from your nine to five. Like that's what you want to do. You want to be able to say, adios, I'm gone. I can do it on my own. I can make it on my own. And that's what you want to do. Now, when you first start, you don't have to. A lot of times people be like, you know, I want to start a business. I'm, I'm thinking if I should let go of my full-time job or let go of my job. No, you don't have to let go of your job. If you're running a business, you can... Try to figure out a way to incorporate work doing both at first. When you start making that money, then let it go. If you are, depending on what job you're trying to, you know, collaborate with the business that you're doing, it all depends, right? So if, you, if you're if you in a job that you're spending 12 hours a day, let's just say you're a nurse. A lot of nurses work from 12-hour shifts. If you work in a 12-hour shift, you're working like three days out of the week, right? So you you still have excessive days throughout the week where you can actually focus on yourself, right? You can take four or five hours out of your time during that day and literally put it towards the business that you're trying to create. So nobody's going to believe in your business more than you believe in yourself. So if you believe in yourself, then the business will actually eventually get to the point where you want it to be. And keep in mind, sometimes when you're starting off, it doesn't... Not everyone, when you starting off, it, it comes in like this. It don't come in like that. Even when you see that with the YouTube channel, like, you will come in and you will try to build your YouTube channel. And you will see somebody skyrocket. They get a bunch of followers. They really hit it off. And you will still be struggling and you'll be still underneath that thousand views where you're just not making any money or the watch time. And... Sometimes some people have the door for their opportunity to be swinging open. Sometimes you may have to take a brick, a rock, a truck, and push that door in and get the opportunity. You can't let obstacles stand in your way. You are the creator of how you want your life to be. All right? You can remove it. You could push it aside and you don't give up, right? You continue keep fighting full force and you make it happen. And that's how you have to look at it. You make it happen. And thank you for watching this video. So again, the most important thing I want you to walk away from this video is when you're very early and it's a very early part of your business and you're starting up from jumpstart and you're still in that creative space. I want you to utilize and utilize your social media as a way to brand your company. Brand recognition will create brand loyalty. And when you have the brand loyalty, that is your customers. They're going to be like, I was rocking with her from day one. I remember her from, she, did, she had like two subscribers. I remember her had like 20 followers. I remember her, you know, didn't even have it like that, but look how far she came. And somebody will be inspired by you. And these are what you have to always remember because when you, when people see you grow, you're actually giving that person an opportunity to do it too. So when, when somebody see you with, come from zero and they get to see you at a status where it's, unbelievable because most people don't sit back to think it can happen to them a lot of people say wow that's amazing like that happened yo I can't believe that happened but it could always happen for you too so when you're creating your business and you're starting just keep in mind you may not know that you're helping somebody you're inspiring somebody but keep in mind that once they see you make it you're gonna inspire them so everything that you do from the start, you want to make sure you remember what you do. You want to remember where you came from. You want to remember how you started. And, you know, you want to give it back. You want to give it back, right? 
You want to give back. Whatever you put out is whatever you get back. So you want to give the information out there. You want to let people know this is the route. This is the way. And, you know, thank you for watching again. And thank you for joining my channel. If you need